Quarter 4, Module 2, Lesson 1, What to do before, during, and after an earthquake. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! Earthquakes do not happen by chance. They often occur unexpectedly. Earthquakes can be hazardous, especially if we are not prepared because they can happen anytime and anywhere. It may cause losses of lives, properties, livelihoods, and may even affect our health status. Knowing the precautionary steps to take during earthquakes and other calamities can greatly reduce the danger and worries in the family. It can also protect yourself and your loved ones. Write yes if the statement about earthquakes is true and no if not. An earthquake is the shaking of the Earth's crust. All earthquakes have the same origin. Plate tectonic movements cause earthquakes. Not all earthquakes that occur are felt by people. The movement of tectonic plates causes a volcanic earthquake. Natural disasters are frightening, but an earthquake is unique because it gives no warning. Therefore, it is important to know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake happens. Summary of what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. Before. Make a plan of where to meet your family after an earthquake. Familiarize yourself with the safety exits and safe area of your school and house. Fix heavy furniture, cabinets, and appliances to the walls or floor. Keep flammable materials, breakable items, and toxic chemicals in a safe place. Make sure you have an emergency kit at home. Learn how to turn off the gas, water, and electricity. During. Keep calm. If you are indoors, stay inside. If you are outside, stay in an open field area. Dock, cover, and hold when you feel an earthquake and wait for the trembling to stop before going out. Stay away from anything that may tend to fall, such as unfixed cabinets and glass windows. Evacuate the building and go to an open area away from trees and electric posts. After. Check yourself and others for injuries. Turn on the radio. Wait for instructions from the authorized government agency. Stay away from damaged buildings, stuff might fall off the building, or the building could fall on you. Move away from the seashore and go to a higher place. A tsunami might occur. Be prepared for some aftershocks. Put a check mark if the activity described should be done before, during and after an earthquake, and X if not. Fix mirrors, paintings, and other hanging objects securely. Panic. Run, push, talk, shout. Hang heavy pictures and other items over beds.
get out of the classroom in an orderly manner. Use any elevator. Bring your go bag with you. Go near buildings, tall trees and power lines. Close curtains and blinds of window glass. Proceed to identified evacuation area. Run when the shaking starts. Stay put until the shaking stops. Locate beds and chairs away from windows. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Which of the following safety precautions is an activity done before an earthquake? A. Practice an earthquake drill. B. Turn on the radio for the latest updates. C. Stay away from broken electrical wires. D. Check yourself and members of the family for injuries. Which of the following should not be done during an earthquake when you are inside a building? A. Rush to the door and get inside an elevator. B. Be aware of the possibility of an open electrical line. C. Seek shelter in a doorway or take cover under a heavy table or desk. D. Open the window and leave the building immediately when you smell gas. How should you behave during an earthquake? A. Keep calm. B. Fasten all heavy appliances. C. Rush to an overcrowded exit. D. All of the above. Which precautionary measures should be done before an earthquake? A. Cover your nose with a wet cloth. B. Prepare an emergency survival kit. C. Do not cross bridges if you are driving. D. Check yourself and members of the family for injury. Which of these activities does not show a safety precaution before an earthquake? A. Drop, cover, and hold. B. Have an emergency plan. C. Prepare an emergency survival kit. D. Familiarize the danger in your area. Which is a safety precaution after an earthquake? A. Go to the beach. B. Stay under a sturdy table. C. Be careful from broken glasses and falling objects. D. Familiarize yourself with your place of work and residence. Which is not a safety precaution before an earthquake? A. Have an emergency plan. B. Check yourself and others for injuries. C. Know the earthquake danger in your area. D. Familiarize yourself with your place of work and residence. Which of these activities must be done during an earthquake? A. Get an elevator. B. Stay away from glass and windows. C. Take time to read about what you can do to prepare. 
D. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher and survival kit. Why is it important to know what to do before, during, and after earthquakes? A. To protect our houses. B. To prevent earthquakes from occurring. C. To minimize damages on our appliances. D. To reduce fear, anxiety, and losses of lives. Bye. <laughs>